Drew Liska here with Orion Outdoors Company, and today we're going to take a look at one of the most common questions that we get here at Orion Outdoors Company, which is what type of ear protection should I use? Ear protection is very important for all types of shooting. Uh, we're going to take a look at foam earplugs, we're going to look at ear muffs, and custom electronic earplugs, and kind of go over the pros and cons of each of them. Let's take a look. So when it comes to ear protection, there's lots of different options. Uh, at the entry level, we have foam earplugs, which are kind of like what you'd see here. Uh, these are like 80 cents for a pair uh, if you buy in bulk a lot cheaper. Uh, we've got ear muffs, uh, which can look like this. Uh, this bigger one is what's called a passive ear muff, so it just blocks noise. This one is an electronic ear muff, which means that it allows you to hear things that are going on and then it turns off uh, when you've got the, the sound of a shotgun, rifle, or pistol going off. They also have what's called custom electronic earplugs, which are like these, uh, which are form-fitted to my ears. Uh, and they, these ones in particular are also electronic, so they allow you to hear what's going on, uh, but they block off the sound of the shotgun blast. I'll start off with foam earplugs. Uh, these are the, probably the most common things that you'll see. Uh, pretty much every shooting range is going to have these available for sale, if not for free. Uh, they're like 80 cents a pair, super cheap, super easy to put in. Uh, you can throw a packet of them in your shooting bag and never have to worry about remembering to bring earplugs with you. Uh, but there are pros and cons. Uh, probably the biggest pro is that these foam earplugs have the best decibel rating of any ear protection. That being that it's going to protect your ears the best, but only if they're installed correctly. It's really got to have a good seal in your ear. If it's just sitting there, it's not going to work. Uh, so you got to make sure that you're, you're folding it like a golf tee, sticking it in, letting it expand, uh, and letting the, the earplug really do the work for you. A lot of people don't insert them correctly. Uh, myself included sometimes, uh, which means that you're not getting the full protection uh, that's claimed on the bag of, you know, the decibel rating, They're usually like 32 to 36 decibel uh, reduction with an earplug like this. Uh, those things considered, uh, the foam earplug is probably a good option to keep in your shooting bag just to have, you know, just in case, uh, to use on the occasional recreational round. If you're not shooting all the time, I probably wouldn't invest in a, in a really expensive pair of ear protection. Uh, but the foam earplugs are always a good option. Just make sure that you have ones that are correctly sized for your ears and that they are in your ears properly so that you're getting the full reduction. The second option, and probably one of the most common things you'll see on the range, is earmuffs. Uh, earmuffs are nice because they produce a nice seal around your ear, uh, kind of regardless of what your face is like. So it's, it's very easy to install these. Uh, the downside to earmuffs, in my opinion, is that they're kind of bulky and they can be uncomfortable. Uh, bulkiness is not necessarily a problem when it comes to rifle and pistol shooting, but when you're shooting a shotgun, it can be a problem. Uh, these have the tendency to get in the way of your gun mount, uh, which can make you less consistent as a shooter. Uh, they can also put scratches and dings in your gun. I can really easily tell based on guns that we get on trade and guns that we purchase, which people use earmuffs and which people don't. Uh, you're going to see people who use earmuffs tend to have scratches on the top comb of their shotgun uh, as a result of the plastic hitting their woodstock. You can see there's different types of ear protection. This one's really bulky. And then there's also other types uh, that are what's called a low profile. The low profile is definitely a better option. Is it's not as bulky, they're more comfortable. Uh, unfortunately, low profile in itself does not solve all the problems. Depending on your facial structure, you may be able to shoot just fine with a low profile earmuff. Uh, but not everyone can do that, and you know, there are cer certain people that are going to have problems with this earmuff making contact with their face regardless of how small or slim they are. And then moving on to what I think is the best option, which is also the most expensive option, uh, would be custom electronic ear protection. Uh, these are in-the-ear protections, uh, electronic being that they allow you to hear people talking and then they turn off with excessive volume. Uh, like a shotgun blast. Uh, they're super comfortable. You can wear them in your ear pretty much all day long. Uh, a lot of them are available in rechargeable options. Uh, they're also available in, in not electronic, so just custom in the ear, which is like molded as opposed to electronic. Those ones are relatively inexpensive, usually $30 to $50. Uh, the electronic in the ear protection can range from like $1,000 up to $3,000 depending on the brand. Uh, I recommend and use Sound Gear. Uh, they have a couple different series. Uh, these are the Soundgear Silvers. They also offer what's called the, the Phantom, which is a Bluetooth version. Uh, the Bluetooth will play music, kind of like an AirPod, uh, and it's also rechargeable as opposed to using batteries. The rechargeable ones, by far, a lot better than the battery ones. 
I find that with these batteries, I'm changing them like every couple months. And usually they go dead when I'm using them and not when I'm not using them, which can be kind of inconvenient. Uh, so rechargeable, kind of like an AirPod is nice. However, that being said, AirPods are not good ear protection. And a lot of national governing bodies, organizations out there have came out with studies on AirPods and other, you know, kind of earbuds that are not technically for noise reduction. Noise canceling is not noise reduction. Uh, the way that AirPods and other of those noise reduction headphones work is they actually produce a noise that counters the noise that, the, that comes into the ear. So it doesn't block the noise out, it just mutes it by having a, like an opposite frequency to say, uh, to make it so that you can't hear it. Uh, so definitely don't use your AirPods. Uh, it, it is not protecting your ear like a custom electronic in the ear plug. So in summary, there's three different types of earring protection. You've got the foam earplugs, you've got earmuffs, and then you've got custom electronics. All three of them offer you know, the decibel reduction rating to keep your ears safe if you install them properly and they fit your ears. Uh, the foam earplugs are typically the hardest to do that with. Uh, it really depends on the person, uh, but they are going to keep you safe. Uh, the earmuffs are very secure in that they are easy to install, a little bit more expensive. Uh, but they can inhibit your gun mount and make you not as good of a shooter as you should be uh, because they're interfering with your consistency. Uh, the third option, in my opinion, the best option, though it is the most expensive, is the custom electronics or the custom molded earplugs. They're comfortable. Uh, they allow you to use your gun properly without inhibiting any emotion that you have. Uh, and they're also you know, something that you can wear all day long and use forever without having to worry about something going wrong with them. Uh, as things change, as your ears change, they're still going to fit. Uh, they're still going to be a great option for you. And like I said, the rechargeable options, in my opinion, are the best. Uh, that way you don't have to worry about purchasing new batteries all the time. Thank you very much for watching this video. We hope that you learned a thing or two about ear protection. Uh, if you have any comments, questions, concerns, or maybe you've got a particular brand of ear protection that you really like, we'd love for you to comment and let our viewers know. Thank you and have a great day.